After spending a few days in the most populous of the Cape Verdean islands, Santiago, we decided it was time to move on. We hadn't booked any travel between the islands beforehand, and our plane ticket home was from another airport on another island, called Boa Vista. But we soon discovered that island hopping wasn't as easy as we first thought. And here between islands, it's not easy to travel, because one time a week there are ferry or there are plane every day almost, but plane prices are very high if you buy last minute. It's like 200, 250 euros. Ferry is around 20, 30 euros, but just one time a week. So you have to do good plan before. There were no boats leaving that week. The online prices of last minute inter-island flights were insane. We found a few tourist agencies in the town centre. In the end, we managed to get a last minute flight for 90 euros each. Boa Vista is the easternmost island in the archipelago. Roughly 70% of the population reside in the main town of Sal Rey. There is a lot of tourism on this island, but they usually stay in the big resorts away from the main town. Sal Rey serves as a trading hub for all the locals. So seven euros for a watermelon. Five, five, We can try one of their cheeses, okay? Yeah, okay. For quant does this? This quant? No, no. Business. Yeah. <laughs> so in the end, how much was it roughly? Yeah. So we spent about. 10 euros on fruit and vegetables. Yeah, I don't know what she's doing. Yeah, I think it's goat's cheese, yeah. She said, but I didn't understand. It looks all there natural. They... Yeah, it looks nice. The most expensive thing out of all of that, though, is that watermelon. Uh, grapes also. Okay, so do you want to find the clothes shop? Uh, so we're in the centre again. Now we've found like an outdoor market, like an outdoor second-hand clothes bazaar. Sure. Ah, para aí. Para aí. Não para mim. Quanto é que é isso? Ele é de Muito grande para mim. Esse é maior? Hum. Esse é pequeno. O quê? Segunda mano ou novo? Não, aquele é novo. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Vamos? Sim, me gosta. Um, quanto custa essa? É 100 mil. 100 mil. In total, tu puedes hacer un descuento para nosotros. Si yo puedo comprar los... Uh, los 1800 dos... así. 1800. Tiene frugón. Normalmente es 1800. Mm. Es un precio sin descuento. ¿Cuál es el último precio? Yo mm. dije para vos, el último precio, 1700. 1700. Ajá. Uh -huh. 1700. Maybe. Oh, maybe, well, maybe you could have got a discount if you asked her before. Thank you. Okay. Obrigado. No, aquí. Solo aquí. Okay. Okay. Muito obrigado. Okay. Obrigado. Ciao. Oi. Tudo topa. Well, we managed to get a hundred. We managed to get one dollar off. <laughs> it seems that there isn't much room to move on the prices here. The price of general groceries is not cheap, even in the local places. The only thing that seems to be good value for money is the fish. Yeah, they have very big tunas here. It seems to be the only thing that they have. No, maybe it's not a tuna. I don't know what it is. It's very big though. 
¿Cuánto costó uh, por kilo? 500. 500. 500. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, so it's 500 uh, kilogram. Okay. Um, okay, un kilo. So yeah, not a bad deal. Got a massive chunk of fresh tuna. One kilo of tuna. Five dollars. Apart from the markets, there are a few restaurants and bars in the town. Yeah, here bar. This is also a local bar. Inside they play card and football match, which is good. There's some good spots for people watching in the sun. It's a very picturesque and romantic place. The streets are very safe and you can enjoy your time without having to worry about pickpockets, pushy sellers or any unwanted interactions. Even after the sun sets, the streets are safe to walk around. Barbecues are very popular all over Cape Verde. You can find bars and restaurants that serve food fresh from the grill. And also places here. Outside, she is doing barbecue, and inside, mix bar or restaurant. So this is some kind of treat, sir. Uh, liver. I think this is just pork, and some sea snails. And they give you this spicy sauce with it. Mm. In the night you can find live music. The vibes are good and everybody goes dancing. In a nutshell, this is all that Sal Rey has to offer. If you want to do something more adventurous in Boa Vista, you're going to need a car. Coming up in the next episode, we explore Boa Vista's highlights, but face a dilemma when we get stuck in the sand in the middle of nowhere. And now we're having to walk through this mountainous area. Hopefully we see civilization soon.